All right, here we are kids. Very first ride on the brand new Bole Stamina 140. Hold on a minute, let's back up. This wasn't actually the first ride I did. All right, the bike is fresh out of the cave, built. I gotta at least give it a shakedown. I figured, uh, you know, first ride should probably be down some steps. And uh, obviously, you know, wearing the proper attire. And, uh, I don't know, let's just see, uh, see if she goes down steps. I literally have not ridden it at all except for in the house. It has not touched ground yet. Like this is the dirtiest it's ever seen. So it's brand new, shiny. We're gonna ride down some little steps here and no big deal, but eh, you know, gotta do some fun. Do a little circle here. <laughs> Maker. Needed better pedals, that's all. Ah, not too bad. Goes down smooth as butter. Hoo! That was the actual first ride. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. This will be my first ride on the bike. I did uh, a little bit on the hill out front here to get the brake pads a little bit bedded in so that they're a little bit closer to ready to go. Uh, this is Monteview Park Mountain Bike Challenge Course. I helped design and build it so I have a little bit of advantage on the knowledge of the trail. And uh, I chose this trail for the first ride on my new Pole Stamina 140 because it's the tightest trail I know of uh, in the area. The most technical, uh, twisty and tight. A lot of punchy climbs, uphill, downhill, blind turns, just very technical and that's why it's called a challenge course. So we are going to take this ride, this bike on its first ride through this trail. I know it well. I just did a full lap on my previous bike that I've owned since 2011. It's a Pivot Mach 5.7 uh, aluminum frame, uh, 26 inch wheels, and 2x10 speed. So, my Stamina 140 is. I've got it currently set up as 27.5 plus uh, with the AXS wireless shifting, 1 by 12, Eagle double X1. So we're going to take a spin around this super tight technical course. Now it's not really rough. It's a brand new trail, finished only last fall, so only a few months ago and it's not uh, real rough yet not a lot of roots it's still pretty smooth so not rough but it is tight and twisty the trees are very narrow and tight to the trail uh, these bars are 760 millimeters wide i believe my pivot has 730 720 somewhere in there and my other bikes are whew, probably low 600s, super, super narrow little old school bars. So this bike is way wider. I have ridden this trail with 790 mil bars, so a little wider than these, but uh, so I've been through it. It's a challenge. It is not easy. Uh, we'll give this one a whirl. I'm very curious to see how this long geometry handles the tight twisty terrain here very very quick turns blind uphills and again i know the course real well but 
the uh, tricky part is, you know, maneuvering. This bike is probably a full 120 millimeters longer than the pivot, you know, like five inches longer probably. And, uh, you know, completely different geometry. The reach is two inches shorter on this bike. Ooh, sweating. She's about 90 and 100% humidity. Nice and sunny, that's why it's sticking to the shade. But, let's get the show on the road. We're gonna start this tour off with, uh, at the park, what we call the edge loop. It's just a little perimeter lap around the park. I'm gonna ride slow enough where I can still talk so I can really give my impressions of the bike on the first ride here. I'm sure I'll still be breathing hard. There's plenty of hills where going easy is not an option. Plenty of punchy, punchy uphill climbs. And uh, they're steep enough, there's just no way to go easy up them. So this is kind of just a nice open run here. Looks like I don't have my gear indicator on yet on the computer. I don't have a mount for it. So I don't know what gear I'm exactly in. I probably got two gears left. But now I'm gonna shift down. So, well, the other thing about the pivot that I'm used to is it's a lot lighter of a bike. Uh, so this one's a little heavier. So the climbs will be harder because of that. And the pivot climbs really well. So I'm happy with the way that old bike climbs. So comparing this one definitely will be, you know, interesting. I expect it to be just as good other than it's heavier. I don't know if it's five pounds heavier, but it's certainly three, at least three pounds heavier. And then this has got the AXS wireless controller. So me learning how to shift, that's a whole nother deal. That's on me. So I still have to remember what button does what and shift correctly. Whew. Lost the front end. And that was just simply because of that sand there. That's actually new after the last rain. So that's purely not the bike, just uh, me not riding the terrain properly. Oh. So, just push the front end a little. And these are uh, not the, these are the tires it came with. I'll be putting a little more aggressive tires on there. These are the, uh, yeah, the Recon. Maxxis Recon 2.8, so. They look like a good kind of low rolling resistance tires with the ramp knobs. Uh, but we'll see how they do. So we're going up a hill here. This is kind of a good extended one. I get a pretty good feel for, you know, what happens when I step on the pedals on my other bike. And I'll tell you this. This is good. There's no negative transmission of pedal push through the suspension. It's direct drive. Feels good. It's heavier. Sorry to keep saying that, but she is heavier. So I'm feeling that. Pivot's pretty really, really light. Almost too light, to be honest. And this one doesn't wheelie as easy <laughs> with the geometry. It's a little tougher to do the wheelies until I get calibrated. So I'm gonna skip that rock pile first time. Try to get used to the bike a little bit. Just make sure I can remember how to shift this thing and whatnot. But yeah, when you push the pedals, she goes. There's no wasted energy there. All right, little, little jump coming here. First jump. 
feels good. That's always kind of a nose tap type of jump there. Oh yeah, still remembering the shifting. Alrighty. If I switch bikes, it'd be <laughs> tricky getting remembering which one's which. There we go. This is one of my favorite corners up here. Skitter in, back it in. Yeah, drift two wheels. Let's do it. Woo! Nice slide in there. That was control. I mean, the intuitive control, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. It felt nice. It didn't do anything awkward or it did just what I was hoping it would, you know, it did what I thought I was telling it to do. So that's good. AXS shifting is working perfect right out of the box, so squirrel ran across. So uh factory got her dialed in pretty good. Ooh, those trees are tight. Alright. Our little climb here. I almost feel like I could bump the seat up a half an inch on this thing. Drop it down. Zingy dingy squirrel. Now here's a tricky one. Tight uphill steep corner. Wheel it around a little. Oh, and when you step on the pedals, it goes. Yeah, I like that. There's no, no waste going into the suspension. I like it. That was my biggest wonder was how it would feel compared to what I've been riding. And I'm pretty happy. Whew. Hill is done. Now, tightest spot in the trail right here. I've gone through the wider bars without touching, but not on this bike. Oh yeah, there you go, first try. Whew. That's a tight one, folks. That's a really tight one. 760 mil bars through a 750 mil gap. <laughs> I actually haven't measured the gap, so I don't know for sure, but I wish I'd have put my dropper down for that. Oh well, amateur hour. What are you gonna do? There we go. All right, some more tight stuff. She handles good. I gotta get the seat out of my way a little bit. There we go, I'm going over them. Oh man, like nothing. I normally set up the turn differently and take the little low spot there, but wanted to plow the logs, see what happened. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing happened. It just went through. And obviously, I'm a fanboy of this thing before I ever rode it. So, I got a little bias probably because of the cool machining. All right, let's get through these rocks. Boom, just plow the rocks. Don't even pay attention to which one you're hitting. Hit that one, hit that one. Yeah, do that. Wheelie through that. Yes. Oh yeah. Yep. <laughs> I gotta say, that's probably the smoothest I've been through those rocks. And it's on the first try with this thing. It's feeling good. And this hill, yeah. Push on the pedals and it goes. I can feel the weight difference big time. But, and uh, I just pushed the front end a little in the sand again. So, that could be a riding position thing. Me over the bars too much. Not getting my weight centered. So, extended climb coming. I'm gonna cool my jets. So I'm not breathing too hard. Like an obscene phone call. Grab a gear. All right. So, <clears throat> there we go. So the reach on his bike, well, 
my definition or reach for this explanation anyway not the necessarily the bicycle industry def but if you measure from the center line of the handlebars at the stem back to underneath the seat at the center of the seat post the top of the seat post this bike is two inches shorter than my previous bike so it feels a little weird at times and that may need to do some setup changes rotate the bars a little forward uh, maybe slide my seat back a little a tiny bit for when I'm seated but you know it feels different not necessarily bad but uh, all right so look up in the cedar tree on the right yeah kitty kitty all right I'm just taking her easy here probably could wail on it a little more but getting used to it it actually handles all this tight stuff no problem uh, haven't hit a ton of the tightest stuff yet but some anyway so I don't see any issues with this bike in tight single track even from just a little bit we've been going here here's a good boom ah. Moving up on the shifting there, grabbing the wrong gear. There we go. You get into your like uh, just do and don't think mode, and uh, you go back to your old shifting and press the wrong way. But yeah, this climb, you just want to go faster, you just pedal more. It's efficient very efficient platform all right get her through there here here back this way over here off the rock turn there we go now coming up on the, the log slide this is a tricky one all right she's tight yep first try get her through all right so that's nice first try on the log I've uh, been laying on my back plenty of times on that lately with other bikes so in fact both the other bikes I've been riding lately have claimed that one's claimed me full loss of points out of the metals that I broke my neck on the tree one time pile driver High sided it, went down the tall side, head first into a tree. Neck still a little sore. That was a few weeks ago. But keep her moving. There we go. Woo. There we go. Going for a dropper, kind of missed my shift point there. off-camber root in the corner normally takes me out I mean doesn't take me out take me out but it, I slide all the way to the end until it hits dirt again so you just plan for it to move and then when it stops moving it's gonna hook up you just have to be okay with that that time it didn't move it absorbed it got right back on the ground again alrighty where are we at still got two more gears to go here so nowhere near eagle and we're fine no problem you pound it a little yeah we're good yeah 
very efficient very happy and that pivot is just twitchy like I'm turning three times in the same corner because I it turns in too tight too quick and I end up overcorrecting and chasing it around like I don't know what I'm doing apparently I don't but this thing just does it Whew. coming up to the top of the longest climb on the property there we go Whew. that's it Whew. bottom to top one shot there forgot to point out when but it was that root that normally slides out right there it's a low spot so I need to move the controls around a little get them where I can find them a little easier every now and then I stop riding to look for the dropper or shift lever all right drop her down shift up a couple a little downhill run here watch over the tree oh I hit my bar on the left a lot when I go from Super narrow bars to wider ones. Ah, oh, yeah, here we go. Berm, get it on there. Oh, man. That thing wailed it. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Moving the stick. All right, here comes a tight little zigzag. Notorious for taking out your foot. Pfft, nothing. Had more room than, than ever on that one. This is another tight one. Yep. Piece of cake. <laughs> What's weird is it almost seems less tight on this bike, which should theoretically make this trail feel extremely difficult to navigate. But it doesn't. Somehow it just goes where it needs to go when you're telling it to I like it anybody who thinks this trail bike would not be good in a tight trail wrong sir or ma'am that's the smoothest that's ever been Whew, duh. not too bad all right up this tight one there's a tight blammer Ah, it's almost easier on this wheelbase. I'm not even kidding. It's like it, yeah, it's tight and every other bike is just goofy. This one just drives around it. I don't know how to explain it. Leo could probably give a good explanation as to why the geometry works in the tight stuff too. But, all I can tell you is, game on, man. All righty, there we go. High spot. Ooh, bash guard got touched. I like it. Got the uh, one-up bash guard integrated. Very nice. Whew. She's a hot one, fellas, and fellettes. All righty. There. There's some tricky little fun little Rockies. Drop the seat a little bit. Yeah, it's like, it's different to get the front end up on here so I gotta keep my calibration proper there on that deal now we're coming to the end of the trail 
So that is a full lap of Monty View Park Mountain Bike Challenge course. The single track that we just finished is exactly two miles long. That probably took uh, maybe not 20 minutes, but probably took all of well more than 15 for sure because we we're keeping her keeping her smooth so I could talk. Uh, I got lots of sweat on the top tube right now. We'll see. Well, what the heck? Let's let's take this. I haven't ridden this yet. I'm gonna leave her in the gear. I'm in. Let's take the. I'm gonna grab one gear. We'll take the high spot. Oh man, that is <laughs> the easiest that's ever been done. Wow, not too bad. That was the easy way. We'll go the hard way now. Yeah, piece of cake, you pedal, and it goes. Uh, uh, uh. uh oh, bail! No problem. I was monkeying with the gears because I was trying to shift one way and I was going the other way. So, a little problem there. My bad. But, abort. Lived to ride another day. All right, folks, well, let's cut the video and uh, we'll give some more impressions here. Cool down. Cranks for watching. Keep your stick on the ice. If I had to choose one word to describe this bike after one ride, I would say impressive. Even though this bike has a much longer wheelbase than the bike I was riding before, it seemed to handle better in the tight stuff than the short wheelbase bike. And while this bike weighs in at 30 pounds, I'm pretty sure I can pull 2 pounds off pretty quick. I am super happy with this bike and I can't wait for the 4 day road trip I got coming up. More on that later.